Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. It is the start of a new book diary and this is the first one you'll have seen for a number of months, although it's not the first one I've been filming. <laughs> I've been making these book diaries for our Space Orange book club books and I was doing that every month from the start until December's book, which I'd filmed some footage for but then I took a break in January from filming and posting videos and I hadn't filmed all of the footage for that so I decided not to carry on with that one. January's book I was on a break again and then February's book A Memory Called Empire I started towards the end of February and I started filming a book diary but I haven't managed to finish that book yet. I probably will carry on with that book diary <laughs> and you will probably see that at some point when I manage to finish that book. Basically, during March I've had a few, I had one really big essay to write and just didn't have any headspace for any serious reading outside of writing that essay. I was going to pick up the book this week but then, so we're now on the, what's the date today? I haven't changed my calendar yet. The 3rd. Today is the 3rd of April, Easter Saturday. Holy Saturday I should say. And we're just over a week away from our next live show for our March book which I hadn't started, I have now started. So this is the book diary for our March book, which is The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna. I started this last night. And so I'm aiming to finish this in time to take part in the live show, which is a week tomorrow on the day I'm starting this diary. So I'm hoping to get through this this week. I do also have an essay due on Monday of this week, which again, I was gonna pick up A Memory Called Empire this weekend and then I just thought actually I'd rather be able to take part in the Gilded Ones live show and be able to focus on my assignment and then when I finish that I'm hopefully going to be able to have the headspace to finish A Memory Called Empire. I'm really enjoying that book, it's just really dense and you really have to concentrate and I just haven't quite had the headspace to do that. So anyway, this book diary, all of that waffling is to say this book diary is for The Gilded Ones by Namina Vorna. This was our March pick for our Space Sirens book club. This was the first book that I've nominated that has actually been chosen. So it's very exciting and that's why I definitely feel like I need to be there for the live show. I had this on pre-order because I've been really anticipating it and it's got lovely green sprayed edges, which is quite cool. I think this cover is gorgeous as well. So this is African inspired fantasy, but it's set in a fantasy world. So it's not set in like an equivalent of Africa necessarily. It's got a map at the front, so you can see it continentally doesn't look like anything from our world and in terms of the society it doesn't seem to be either, but I'm still quite early days into it. I've read the first four chapters, I read a couple last night, a couple this morning, I'm going to read a little bit more now. I don't know a lot so far. Our main character is called Decker and she is 16 and she lives in quite a, I was going to say puritanical society, it kind of feels that way. It's a very religious society where women's purity is paramount. When girls get to the age of 16 they have to go through a purity ritual where they are cut and if their blood is red then they are considered pure and then they are allowed to get married and from that point onward they have to be kind of veiled or wear a mask so that their face can't be seen. Okay, this isn't a spoiler because this isn't all the information about it. Decker bleeds gold and that means that she has some sort of demon blood in her. That's kind of the first couple of chapters. She's just been, she's been given the choice of like being essentially killed by the village that she's from for being a demon or going to join this kind of elite fighting force that the emperor is putting together to fight these being called the death shrieks which are attacking their land and regularly invade and kill loads of people so she's chosen life essentially and that's about all the information you get from the blurb i am enjoying it so far the first couple of chapters were really intense and like there's a content warning right at the beginning which I think is really good because I think this is kind of marketed as YA so it's really good that it's got that right at the beginning that there's graphic violence in there and that's like the first couple of chapters have quite a lot of that violence in. I'm really intrigued to learn more about this world and more about these characters. Yeah this society is really a big part of church culture in the early 2000s that I grew up in and um, was pu this purity culture where there was kind of a real focus on I mean the the main theme of it was 
to not sleep around, not have sex before you were married. But the way that that was framed often put a lot more guilt and shame onto women, onto young women. There were a lot of damaging messages within that. And the society that's pictured in this book is kind of the end point of what that purity culture could be. I think hopefully a lot of Christian culture has moved on from that now, at least in the UK particularly. I don't think purity culture ever had quite the hold it did in the States, but I can't speak as to other countries and how that is interpreted, but that's kind of the impression I got. The religion in there isn't Christianity, but you can see how it could be some weird morphed form of Christianity. So yeah, I'm really interested to read more, find out more about this world and more about this, particularly about this religion, because I find kind of the created religions in books quite fascinating because of my own religion. Yeah, really interested to see where this book goes it's kind of bedtime and so i'm going to read a little bit more tonight and i will update you at some point in the next few days hi so today is monday the 5th i can't actually remember when i started this video diary which is bad because i know it was only a couple of days ago but never mind it was probably saturday wasn't it anyway i've handed my essay in today which is very exciting it means i can actually now have a little bit of time off for my Easter holidays even though we've already had the bank holiday weekend we've got another couple of weeks off from I was gonna say from lectures but I don't actually have any more lectures now until the end of May we've just got a number of like study weeks to get all our assignments done but we have like other things like tutor groups and our morning chapel and that sort of thing restarts in a couple of weeks so I've got a couple of weeks now where I can take it a little bit easier now that I've done that assignment I want to start work on my next assignment and I've got a Hebrew exam to prepare for but I'm gonna have a few days off now to chill, to relax a bit, meet up with some friends and do a lot of reading. So I want to try and finish The Gilded Ones in the next couple of days. I have been reading a little bit in the evenings, so I'm now up to chapter 13 on page 143, about a third of the way through, just past a third of the way through. I'm mostly really enjoying it. It's a little bit tropey in places and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think I need to reserve judgment on the tropes until I see how they play out. There's definitely a kind of a chosen one theme. Decker, the main character, seems to be more powerful potentially than any of the other young women that she is now associated with. These, I think they're called, I don't know whether it's pronounced Alaki or Alakai. They're the people with the gold blood. Yeah, so she seems to have something extra special about her, which we're just discovering what that is. Some of it is going fairly predictably, but again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you do need books to do what you expect them to do. There's a couple of things that may be tampering my enjoyment slightly. <laughs> one is that one of the characters has a really interesting dialect and I'm not a fan of authors writing speech and dialect. To me it doesn't actually add anything to a book, it actually is more likely to draw me out of the story, which it is doing in this case. But that's just a personal preference thing. The other thing, again, is going to be to do with how it plays out. I think I mentioned in the first part of this vlog that the culture this is set in is quite a religious one. Women are put in very specific niches. A lot of it is kind of reminiscent of some quite extreme forms of Christianity or at least what they could become like. And the thing that is slightly is making me slightly uncomfortable is how internalised this is in Decker, the main character. But I think, I mean, that is part of the theme of the book. It's like they've all been convinced that purity is the most important thing, that they will be shown to be pure or impure when they're 16 by this ritual. She's been shown to be impure because she's got gold blood that means it's it's like demon blood and so her whole thing of like is she just wants to be pure again and the only way she can do that is by going along with what she's told and training to become a warrior but then every single thing that like she's being asked to do she's like oh no but this will shame me this won't make me pure i think it's kind of this like victim blaming that a lot of women experience if they have come from this kind of extreme purity background. Well, just women in general, actually, in a misogynistic culture when women are kind of made to be at fault if men attack them. It's because of something, the, it's obviously because of something the women did. And so that's kind of permeating the book and it's just making me get frustrated with Decker because I just want to shake her. Like, why are you still going along with this because of 
like the horrible things that people have done to you because of this but as I say that is like a central theme of the book so I know that's going to be explored more and I'm just waiting to see how that plays out so I'm mostly enjoying it and I'm interested to see where it goes just a couple of little things that are maybe making me not love it I thought I was going to really really love this book and I was kind of expecting it to be a five star read at the moment it's kind of around the three and a half star mark so we'll see where it goes as it carries on. Hi, so we're now on Wednesday, which is the 7th of April, and I think this is probably the quickest I've ever got through one of my book diary books. So I finished this yesterday, very excited to have got to the end of it, in a good way. I really enjoyed this, especially like the last 100 pages, the pace really picked up a lot. I mean, it was quite fast paced throughout in general, because it's young adult, it's first person perspectives and present tense so those often do tend to go quite quickly. This book definitely grew on me. I think to start with I'd probably overhyped it a little bit for myself. It took me a little bit longer to get into it than I was expecting. What I would say is I mentioned this maybe a little bit in some of the earlier parts of this vlog. There were just certain aspects of the writing style that didn't quite work for me. I think there were times when some of the points were a little bit too laboured so um, I think I mentioned the chosen one trope like is very 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 central to this story and at times it felt like a little bit we were being beaten over the head with it that's just my opinion the author bio at the end says this is Namina Fauna's debut novel but she is she works as a screenwriter so I think some of the things that were maybe felt like they were being overemphasized is maybe perhaps because she's used to writing for a different medium so like there were a number of times when Decca says I have so many questions about this thing or like the thoughts that have been going through my head all day instead of just leaving it at that she would then recap what those questions were or what those thoughts were which we're very much aware of because we've just read about the situations and it was just like felt like we were constantly being reminded of all of this confusion and all of these questions that Decca had we know we know we know that she's confused about these things we know that she has lots of questions you don't need to tell us exactly what the questions are every single time so that was just maybe a slight stylistic thing that did bother me a little bit but it's a debut novel so you expect that kind of thing sometimes and I think as Namina Fauna gets more used to writing novels like as she works on her novel writing craft as well as her screenwriting craft then those kind of kinks will be worked out a little bit. Yeah I think I mentioned in one of my updates about the dialect of one of the characters was slightly off-putting and I'd stand by that but other than that, this was a very enjoyable YA African inspired fantasy novel. I really liked how she looked at the issues of patriarchy and purity culture and shaming women and like particularly towards the end when she started to delve into how those things started to happen in this society, that was really interesting to me. I'm really excited to see where this series goes. I'm trying to think what else I want to say about it. I really enjoyed it, I definitely would recommend it. I'm really interested to see how the series develop, how she work figures out more about these themes, the impact when Decca and her friends start to go back to like the villages that they came from and what is going to happen with that. Some pretty drastic things happened at the end of this book, which I'm not going to say obviously because I like to keep these spoiler free, but like to see how those things start to impact on the wider society. And I really enjoyed the character development. I mentioned in one of my vlogs that like Decca had a lot of internalised shame about who she was because of the society that she lived in and I really enjoyed how Namina Vorna like looked at those themes and how that aspect of Decker's character developed, particularly in her interactions with the other women. Some things I really loved about this book were the real found family aspect. I do love a good found family storyline and this was definitely one of those. I found that really lovely to see right near the start of the book. Decker feels like she's lost everything she's known, all the people that she loved have turned away from her. So to see her find a new place to settle and to live, it was really lovely. And again, I'm interested to see if those characters from the beginning, the people in her village, the family and friends that abandoned her, are they going to come back into the story at some point and how is that going to happen? What is the fallout of that going to be? That is something I'm looking forward to see. So I hope that happens. I hope she gets that chance for confrontation slash reconciliation with people from her hometown. There was a kind of slow burn romance. I mean, it, it was very obvious <laughs> and it kind of did feel, I would say it felt insta-lovey, but it, it, it was just because it was a really fast paced book. So like there were quite a few jump forwards in time to keep the plot moving. So the whole book takes place over the course of about a year. So it wasn't really insta-lovey. It just felt slightly like it was 
but it wasn't really, if that makes sense. It was quite sweet as well, and kind of the idea of like first love and how that develops. And there was what I thought was a really healthy conversation about sexuality and sexual activity among some of the characters who are all kind of in their late teens and to have that explored and have a really healthy attitude like sex positive but also not shaming of people that had chosen not to have sex as well so I thought that was a really positive thing to see in this novel. So I think those are all my thoughts for the moment. You will probably be seeing this after we've had our live show. I imagine so I'll link the live show in the description box for you. If you are interested in seeing more thoughts, including some spoilery thoughts, then go and check that out. But this has been a really enjoyable book. I'm really glad I suggested it for the book club. I'm really glad it got picked and that I've read it. And yeah, I think that's everything I want to say about it. Our April book for Space Sirens is The Bone Child Daughter and I still can't remember the author's name and that's terrible. And we've just picked our May book, which is The Unbroken. And again, I can't remember the author's name because I'm useless. I will put details of both those books in the description box for you and I probably will have put pictures up as well for you to see. So please do join us for those. I'm also gonna link the Space Orange Discord if I can figure out how to do that so you can check in with us there. Let me know if you've read this book and what you thought of it or if you just wanna let me know that you've been here, give me a sunshiny emoji in the comments. But that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.